My first guest tonight is a very funny, talented man. His movie, The To-Do List, is in theatres tomorrow. <laughs> Bill Hader, everybody, Bill Hader. Hi. Hey, Bill. Hi, how are you, sir? Yeah, you know, I'm all right. How are you? All right. You okay? I'm all right. I'm, all right. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. You. Yeah. Uh, the big swimming film. This is the one you've wanted yeah. to do for a this while. This is my this, big swimming movie. This is the movie where you <laughs> you swim the entire movie? I tried to, yeah. No, my wife wrote and directed the movie, and I think that she knows I can't, I can't really swim that well. Really? Yeah, so she kind of wrote that into the movie. <laughs> I'd be concerned about that if that. I was. know, I know. She had, and I mean, she could very easily kill me. <laughs> or, or she could just wait till you were sleeping, or put something in your juice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> your wife directed you as an actor in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. So that means like she kind of like go over the, wear that, go over there and say this. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. she do that in the movie too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the film about then? About a guy who swims? No, okay. I wish. Uh, no, it's about Aubrey Plaza plays a girl uh, who um, is a very type A, valedictorian type of girl, just graduated high school in 1993, and uh, has done nothing sexually in her life. She barely knows how to kiss. Right. So she wants to be prepared for college. She wants to lose her virginity, so she approaches losing her virginity like an, like an AP course. She kind of takes all these notes of certain things she has to do. I think I know this girl. Yeah. I, I, know, this, I, I know this girl, yeah, too. She I, wrote and directed the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, no, honey, too late now, honey, man. Too honey, late. no. Cuts honey, out of the oh, pie. Honey, honey. Drink your juice, Bill. Drink Just your drink juice. drink your juice, darling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys meet in college then? No, 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 no. We met. I was in a uh, sketch show, and she was in the front row. And I said, uh, "This really hot girl in the front row thinks I'm funny." <clears throat> and uh, and then I, I uh, yeah, I yeah. I That's a her. terrible I way to find somebody to marry. And no, why? It's because you know she she might just have thought you were funny in the sketch and not think you're funny later on. <laughs> honey, honey. Yeah. Drink your Drink juice. the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> Finish your juice. Oh, Finish it. it. <laughs> Do you live in New York or Los Angeles? I just moved back to Los Angeles. Yeah, because I imagine if you were in Sar Woo! Yeah. Hey. Do not, do not applaud. He may be the one that brought the plane. We brought some squirrels with us. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Did you, well, I guess you were in New York when you were doing Saturday Night Live. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you yeah. finished there now. Yeah, I'm done with SNL, that's it. Oh, my goodness, that Thanks, seems like guys. a... Yeah, no, you were very, very good on that oh, show. Oh, thank you very, very much, funny. buddy. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, no, I think... Appreciate that. Or agree. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's true, you were, and I'm going to miss the club reviews. Oh, the, Stefan? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know the, the amazing thing about that is, every time I watch that... <laughs> Every time I watch that guy, I'm like, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of people come up to me and they think it's based on them. Right. You know, yeah. it's like, you based it on me, didn't you? <laughs> no, I'm like, no, no. Did you, you did know. You clearly you must have run into it, someone. It was a guy who worked at a coffee shop that I uh, would go to every morning in Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And then John Mulaney, the guy I wrote it with, he got an email from a guy describing a club and that's exactly <laughs> what the club it was really? like rooms full of broken glass <laughs> blah, 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 all these things and then we just combine combine the two. now you do you do that often with characters and do you like find people who are real and think i'm going to plunder their personality yeah i do yeah exactly yeah. i'm going to use you for personal gain uh, no uh the the Vinny Vedecci, I did this Italian talk show character, and that guy, I, I, he was from a guy that I was waiting in line to see the movie AI, mm -hmm. and he was in front, this guy in front of me was essentially that guy, and he was trying to buy gelato for these, like, teenage girls. He was hitting, and he was like, I buy you gelato, gelato. <laughs> We're going to see the boy, the little boy. He eat too much spinach, he break, he's a robot. You know, and all that stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think I know that guy too. Yeah. yeah. Now, are you still working on South Park then? Are you still doing yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, right at South Man, Park. I love yeah. That show too. That's a great yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. That's great.
It really uh, is those two guys, though. I have to yeah, be honest. It's yeah. really Matt and Trey, and I kind of sit in the room and go, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a little scared of both of them. Yeah, they're they intimidating. They seem quite, quite angry, and they're, like they'd be really funny about you to your face. Yeah, they yeah. will make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah, and you go, I, you're right, you're right, man. You're yeah. right, dog. Yeah, man, I'm a dummy. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Yeah, but that show is very... Uh, my, my kids, well, my older boy watches that show. How old? I'm like, don't, how, don't, I'm 12. Oh, yeah, that's and I'm tough. Like, don't. That's tough. Yeah, and he's like, "It's what are you talking about, man? <laughs> if you don't know, then you can keep watching. But... <laughs> That's how my dad was with Monty Python. I would watch Monty Python. Oh, Especially yeah, the flight that. circus, they would have nudity in it. Mm -hmm. And my dad would go, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 is that what you were into growing up, Monty Python, oh, or huge. nudity? Were you into nudity growing up? Both. Yeah. <laughs> when they happened together, it was the perfect But it was thing. only, as I remember Monty Python, most nudity was uh, Terry Jones naked playing the piano That's the what organ. I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> You didn't know who you were talking to, did you? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, he, he would have been good in your swimming movie. He would have, Yeah, he could have been swimming. <laughs> that guy is swimming in the thing. <laughs> you know, they, they had to pixelate his butt crack. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, if he was on CBS, yeah. <laughs> like, here's what I just found out tonight. This is fine, but the minute you move one of the fingers in here, it becomes illegal. Ooh. <laughs> Playing with fire Yeah. Right Oh, 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 what's oh, happening? What's oh, gonna oh, happen? Oh, oh. oh, no, it's all right. No, they, they pixelate you. Really? Yeah, do you ever get that in Saturday Night Live? Like, you guys would do stuff and it would just go straight. And we're live, too, obviously. <laughs> uh, no. Do you ever get tempted to just, like, go crazy? And, yeah, yeah, no, my fear a lot of times when I'd be on SNL, you know, especially doing an update feature, in my head, Seth would start, Seth Myers would start talking, and in my head, I was like, if I say the F word right now, I'm, this is, I lose my job. This is terrible. Everyone will hear it, but it would be hilarious. Mm. <laughs> I think that too, but it's, if I don't think F word, I think Tootsie Fruitsie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, we're illustrating a point. Relax. I want a Tootsie Fruitsie. Peabody Award, pal. This is journalism. We have to take a break while I discuss things with CBS. <laughs> we'll be right back with Bill Hader. Bill was telling me something really dirty, and I just said, whoa, 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 man. Relax, man. Whoa, man. I don't need to hear it <laughs> until the next commercial break. Hey, so, I won. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> so you moved back to L.A., that's yeah, lovely. It's fun. Yeah, you can go back to your loves of surfing and um, yoga. Yeah, mostly hanging out in front of Amoeba and... Do you do that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Just go to Amoeba. I mean, that's a great store, isn't I it? I love Amoeba. Amoeba is a store in LA where you can buy uh, old DVDs that, like, even, like, I'm in them and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you get vinyl records and yeah. VHSs. Yeah, and... it's great. You go across the street, get a coffee, walk over to Amoeba, and then I would go to the Arclight and watch a movie, and that was essentially my entire existence in yeah, LA. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. That Arclight's yeah. good as well. Great. Because they've got that kind of policy, if you use your phone, out. 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 And they don't care. Those guys, even if they're they're all prepubescent, you know, mm. guys they're like, angry. Yep. you gotta get out of here, yeah. sir. <laughs> and I'm just like... I'm like, I'm, no, 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 it's important. <laughs> sir, you're ruining the movie for everyone yeah. else. <laughs> sorry about my face. <laughs> they're not sorry, though. They're not <laughs> no, sorry. Man. They're never sorry. <laughs> What do you go and see when you go and see? Obviously, you go and see, um, you know, the to-do list. I see the to-do yeah, list. Yeah, every yeah, time. But yeah, anyway, everyone. are you a science fiction fan? Do you oh, yeah, I love science fiction. Were you at Comic-Con this year? I was at Comic-Con. Uh, so was I. I was at Comic-Con. I was at Comic-Con. Now, have you ever gone? I went to Comic-Con a couple of years, like, 15 years ago, just as a fan. Have you ever gone just as, like, Well, I went to be kind angry? of as a fan this year. I yeah, went yeah, yeah. Uh, as a fan of Doctor Who, and I was moderating the Doctor Who panel. <laughs> Now, can that guy walk around? 
Comic Con? No. What no, does he do? No. He must have. He he has to look like he's a guy in costume as the doctor in order to walk around. <laughs> It's like, uh, apparently Hugh Jackman did it as well. Like, he dressed up as Wolverine, Wolverine, walked around the floor, people were like, you're too tall for Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how he got to do it. Oh, like, Brian Cranston crazy. from Breaking Bad put on a Breaking Bad mask and walked around. He did? Yeah, yeah. But that's the only way he could, yeah. he could do it. I should do that. Well, you should put on a Bill Hader mask or go around. And they'll and go, Rain Wilson! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Ted Mulcairin, who's one of the head writers here, you look really like him. It's really? something we talk about in the office all the time. Really? Yes. I am him. <laughs> and you've been very mean to me. I'm joking. Uh, I have been quite mean to Ted. <laughs> that made me panic for a minute. We have to introduce you to Ted and then get a photograph. Do we yeah. actually have a photograph of Ted? Where is Ted? Is he around? He's probably drunk by now, isn't he? <laughs> He's crying. Yeah, yeah. No, but I went a couple years ago, and I, uh, 15 years ago, and I met uh, at Comic-Con, and there was this old man setting up a little booth, and, his, and, it, and it said, learn stop motion animation, and it was Ray Harryhausen, who's like stop the it. man. And next to him was a booth for a lesbian vampire movie. This is great! And tons, a giant line to the lesbian. No one was talking to Ray Harryhausen. Dude, lesbian vampires. I know, I got yeah. in line for the lesbian vampire. Right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, even Ray would be like, I'm gonna go and see the lesbian vampire. Yeah, 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 even Ray Harryhausen was like, oh, wait, lesbian vampires? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, sadly. <laughs> Fancy ending with an awkward pause, or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna end in German or a German awkward pause? Yeah, sure. A very, very talented actor. His movie, The Skeleton Twins, is in theaters now. Please welcome the lovely Bill Hader, everybody. Bill Hader. Was it good? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's a it's good movie. A serious movie, though. The Skeleton Twins. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a serious movie. Yeah, Kristen Wiig and I play a strange twins. In Skeletons? The film. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. I've been very excited about this movie Sorry, for a like, long time. Yeah, because no, no, no. Yeah, Skeleton Twins was the name of my testicles, so I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited about that. <laughs> All right, knock it off. Yeah. Knock it off. He's white. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't even play along with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we actually that was it's based on a book about your your testicles. Right, thank you. And Kristen and I, I play the right one. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you for acknowledging that, Bill Hader. I appreciate. You're welcome. It. Thank you. You don't have to acknowledge him, man. I mean, I appreciate it, but it's all right. Uh, now, tell me the story of the movie. What is it? Well, not all of it, because I, you know, I have to see it. Well, the ending were ghosts. Oh, oh. no! I can't Oh no! Um, no. <laughs> you were ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We imagine, yeah, Bruce Willis came on doing Sixth Sense. He's like, well, the end. I'm a ghost. Uh, that would be terrible. <laughs> Wait, is that what happened? Oh, come on, man! I haven't seen that movie. Kevin Spacey's like, well, I'm Kaiser Sose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then at the end of, uh, what was it, The Crying Game, when it was like, yeah. oh, it's a dude. Yeah. Like, oh, never guessed that one. Well, I play a girl at the first part of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah. Let's get serious. Well, it's a serious uh, it's movie. It's a serious film. Actually, it is. Yeah, it's a drama that Chris and I did. But it is very funny. We thought we made this very sweet kind of drama, but we were really surprised that it, it's, uh, when you, people see it, it's actually a big crowd pleaser. People were laughing and clapping. Do you hang around in movie theaters? Uh, when, yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, 
Don't pay no attention to me. I, I, kinda, I introduced the, the movie. Hitter. I introduced the movie. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, no. I go to every theater. Yeah, I just got back from Minnesota. I was like, all right, everybody. Hey, I'm here. Pretend I'm not here. I but think if you don't laugh, I'll be really mad. You know that Anthony Hopkins used to do that with Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> He did it. He told me himself right here. No, he did. Yeah, yeah. Are he you did. serious? Yeah. After what a, would he do? He was after a Silence of the Lambs. He was in one screening, <laughs> and he, he watched it. At the end of it, there was a lady who sat in front of him who was like freaking out. At the end, he went, "Did you enjoy the movie?" <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, I my love that movie. God. You like that movie? Oh, I love that movie. Right. You know, SNL, actually, we tried to do, you know, the bag of Jamie Gum, Buffalo Bill in that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we, at SNL, we tried to do the Jamie Gum talk show. Oh, where that I played would be Jimmy awesome. Gum, where I was like, hey, everybody, it's me, the Jamie Gum talk show. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you know, that's she a great big fat person. Like it was all that, and then our uh, the, my, my co-host was the woman in the well oh, that you never oh, saw. Oh, it was just a shot of the well, <laughs> and it's like today on the show we got that, you know whatever. And we why did didn't it. that ever I know. Yeah. And we did it at the table at the table read. I remember Seth uh, Myers and John Mulaney and I wrote it. We did the table read, and it was just every, all the, it was like, oh guys, come on. That yeah. is a great idea. No, it was. Yes, no, you get. It says you get over here yourself. Let, let's do it here. All right, I'll do it here. Let's do it. Let's do All right. It. Let's go. That is a great idea. I love it. Because if you know anything about this show, you know we don't give it. Friday. So let's do it. I, I met Seth for the first time last yeah, week. Yeah, I know. You were so, great. What a lovely man. No, you Isn't gave him some good advice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Well, a very nice man. Really sweet guy. You know, he taught me so much at that show. Yeah, he's that, that's a, that must be a great place to learn. Crocky. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> that's what Lauren says. Lauren <laughs> like, this is a great place to learn. Ooh, la, la. Yeah. Crocky. I went, to, I had a meeting with him once. Years really? Ago. Well, yeah, I when go. I started doing this show, I thought, oh, I'd like to meet Lauren Michaels. And I thought, and now I've got a show, he'll meet me. And he did. He did? Yeah, yeah. How did so, it go? It was all right. We sat for about 45 minutes. I'm Scottish. He's Canadian. We, we said, all right. He went, all right. And then... <laughs> And then we both awkwardly shuffled for a bit. And then I hugged him and he fainted. <laughs> I think he's totally got, he's got, he's very, he's very, you know, he's, yeah. I, I get it, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But a very talented man. Obviously. Powerful yeah. as well. Yeah, no, he gave me a career. So, he's, yeah. I would I not be sitting here. He gave himself a career. He, I no, I would not be sitting here if Lauren went, you, you know. <laughs> Is that what it does? Does he go yeah, around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, yeah, he just walks around. I was on the street, and he went, "You." And I was like, "Excuse me." And he went, "You." Where were you before Saturday Night Live? I was, I was here in Los Angeles. I was an assistant editor on Iron Chef America. Man, you were almost there. I was almost yeah. there. I was almost there. Oh yeah. How the hell did you end up doing that? I was doing improv theater and stuff in, uh, here in L.A. at Second City, and Megan Mullally saw me in a show and recommended oh, really? me to Laura Michaels. Changed my whole life. So I was wow. sitting there as an assistant editor on uh, Iron Chef America. And he came into the room? And no, yeah, what? that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you. And then he got a rope ladder and a helicopter took him away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a Bond villain. <laughs> No, uh, but he, uh, no, I got a phone call saying Megan Mullally recommended you to us. And, and you go and have an audition in that show? Yeah, yeah. How long were you on that show? Eight years. Good Lord, that's way too long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's way too long. Yeah. And I'm going back to host. You're going back to host? I'm hosting Oh, the that's show. great. Yeah, Man. October 11th. Yeah. yeah. I'm hosting the show October, October 11th. 11th. Yeah. So I get to do that. Now, when you're when you're hosting it, do you get to boss the other people around? Do you used to? No, well, you get to. Well, no, but you get to go into the room where that you do our table read on Wednesdays, and then everyone would go into Lauren's office and close the door, and I never knew what happened in that room where they picked the show. Uh, I never knew what that <laughs> what that was like. And now, and now I get to go into that room, and when uh, Kristen Wiig hosted, uh, she went in, she came out, and I was like, "What's it like in there?" And she's like, "I can't tell you." <laughs> So now I it's get to go be in. Weird. No, they'll pour you a goblet of blood and say, <laughs> and now you must drink. One of us. One of us. Yeah. We have to take a break. Uh-oh. Yeah, you what know, you know, nice oh, oh, that's what you do on shows. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to remember that for Saturday Night Live. I know. Because, you yeah. know, they, they're live. 
Yeah. Much like this show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with Bill Hader. Right Sorry, I think it's... I'm not doing it. Time, Bill. We're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. All right. I just came back to tease you. <laughs> no, no, no. We have a little bit of time. Really? Oh, just a little, I guess. What do you want to do? What do I want to do now? Yeah, what do you want to do now? Want to have some fun? Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, all right, want to pretend, uh, <laughs> let's pretend I'm a therapist and you're Bill Hader. Okay. Ah. Why do you think you're sexually attracted to mice? <laughs> oh. I could tell you, uh, Tom and Jerry, when I was a child. Ah. And... The mouse, the mouse would scuttle towards the door. The mouse would scuttle towards the door, and I would say, my God. I love it. The hindquarters. Big, doughy eyes. And I would say, you must be mine. Well, now as you say it like that, I find myself also sexually attracted to <laughs> What do you say we get out of here and find some mice? Let's go find them out. Bill <laughs> well, Hader, everybody. Thank you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> one of these men is Bill Hader. <laughs> one is Ted Mulcairin. And one... is Donald Trump. Oh no, wait a minute, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, that's Donald Trump. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Trump, that was a complete nonsensical drive-by. I do beg your pardon, sort of. Uh, all right, that's enough. Um, don't, don't you agree you guys look alike? Yeah, sort of. yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Totally. How much do you hate me right now, Ted? Oh, no, I like it. Uh, it's fun. Really? Yeah. It's so bright up here. <laughs> He's never seen daylight. He's a television writer. <laughs> well, uh, that's our show, everybody. Let's stand like this. <laughs>